Okay, let's take a look and see how we can read some resistors here. I've got four different resistors out here. I've got my meter all ready to go. I have on my meter, I just replaced my leads that came with the meter with uh, some gator clips. I just find it to be handy. But, um, you know, you're not going to have that. So, uh, you know, you can just simply, you know, place your meter probe on one side and then the meter probe on the other. And that's perfectly fine. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take a look and I've written down the colors of these resistors. So the first one here I've got is orange, orange, black, gold. I know this one kind of looks like it's brown, but it's actually, it is actually orange. I know it is kind of hard to see, but um, so orange, orange, black, gold. So if I take a look over here uh, at my color coding, see orange is three and then black. Uh, is going to be my multiplier, which is a black multiplier. You're not multiplying, you're multiplying it by one, so 33, 5%. So that one I'm expecting to be 30, about 33 ohms, with or give or take, uh, you know, within 5% range. So I'm going to do is I take the meter now, the meter that you have, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm expecting it to be 33 ohms. My lowest setting is 200 ohms, so I'm going to set it to that. So I'm going to put it to 200 ohms. If you're unsure which one to use, then use you know the highest one and keep going down. So if I take a look at this one here, I put that across there and there, and I'm supposed to be within 5% of 33, so we're good. So it's showing up as 33.6. Okay. Notice how I keep my fingers off of it because if I add my fingers to it, then I'm going to add a value of resistance, my own resistance, so I don't want to do that. The next one I have is gray, red, black, gold. So gray is eight, red is two, black, no multiplier, so 82, gold, 5%. So this should be around 82 ohms. So I'm gonna leave that on the same setting, put my meter back on that. And let's take it, so we've got 81.8 ohms. So well within range there, so that works, okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Red, red, yellow, gold. Well, red is two. Red is two. Multiplier, yellow. Yellow represents four zeros. So I'm going to write four zeros in there. And then gold is 5%. So if I look at this, I got 220,000 220, ohms plus or minus 5%. So let's take a look. Well, on my meter setting here, I've got to make sure that I'm at a high enough setting on the meter. So I've got 200, 2,000 ohms, 20,000 ohms, 200,000 ohms. I'm expecting that to be 220,000 ohms. So I'm going to do a 2,000K. So I'm going to move it to there. And now I'm going to see what I got here. So I'll put this on here and here. And I've got 219,000, 219,000 ohms. So 220,000 ohms plus or minus 5%. So that's right. Okay, in the last one here, I've got brown, which is one, black, which is zero, red, which represents two zeros, and gold is 5%. So this should be about 1,000 ohms. So if I put it, I'll show you. If I put this on, on here and I got my setting set to 2,000K, I'm going to get a fractional value. Uh, it's not even showing up here. So I moved down to 200K, so I'm getting 0.1. So I move it to the next setting, 20K, point, so 0.1 of a K. Move it down to 2,000, there we go. So now I'm within range, uh, 992 ohms, plus or minus 5%, so that one works. So that's how you read resistors with your meter.